Hey everyone, welcome back to my, well, channel, and basically, if you stayed until the end of the last Pokemon video, I'm picking up from where I left, from where we left off, if you're just coming in after I beat the gym, well, well, yeah. Right now, um, basically, as I said in the previous video, I realized I could have just evolved my Gloom, so I'm doing that right now, as you can plainly see, so yeah, there's my Vileplume. Oh damn, I forgot. Uh what the Okay. So Vibloom learns Petal Blizzard when says it when it evolves, which I never knew about. Or I might have after let's go, but I forgot about it. Anyway. So this is the Headstar, of course. Go to the berry tree. I know I went in the last video, but it's been a day, so why the, he the hell not? Shake the tree, shake the tree, all the berries, and here's the thing, I kept shaking this thing. It Look how many berries I managed to get out on the ground. I'm getting distracted here, because I have the TV on. But don't worry, it's mute. Yep, ah, there's the Pokemon. How many berries was that? Was that 12 or 13? I don't think it might have been 12. Well, of course, I ran. Duh. Picked up all the berries. Oh. I wanted to stay in this route for as long as possible because this is the route where you can get Applin. It's the Apple Dragon. It's in the last video if you don't know what it looks like. Alright, so I fished there, found a Goldeen. Goldeen? <laughs> Here's what I was saying. Uh, I'm not sure what other places you can find Applin, but I know you can find it Route 5, but it's in the random grass patches. Like, I didn't encounter it, unfortunately. I did encounter it in Sword right away, which I was happy with. But... Uh, here's the thing, people. Applin is like the magic carp of the dragon family. Seriously. It, it can only learn two moves, but as soon as you evolve it, it will learn more moves. It's just annoying. I really want to catch a female one. Because <laughs> I want to nickname it. I mean, I've caught, like, a female Alpoton on my sword version through a max ray battle, and... I missed my chance naming it, because it was a female. Yeah, I was just checking what level Goldeen was. Well, stuff it was. Um, I know I switched to Pokemon at, before my next gym. I just don't remember who it was. It might have been Stuffle. Alright, remember there was an item down there. And I was right, there was a TM right about there, and yeah, that spritzy got in my way. Uh, so, the TM is attract. No, I want to. I'm just waiting for the random grass patch to show up, so there was a random grass patch. But it wasn't Applin, it was Duke. Yeah, do do powder. I think that's how you pronounce it. Anyway, I'm upset it wasn't Applin, but at least I got a new Pokemon in the process. But I still want the Applin. Wait, why, why do I still want it? I already got it. <laughs> uh, I guess actually, I mainly want to just get the item. Because here's the thing: if you get Applin in Sword or Sh in Sword, it'll evolve into Flapple. You get it in Shield, it'll evolve into Appleton. This is because of the items. Uh, to make it into a Flapple, you need a, I think, a Tart Apple, which is exclusive to Sword. I keep forgetting what the other Apple is for Appleton, but that's exclusive to Shield. I just want to get that item and then just put it in my Sword, so when I get a shiny Applin. I'm prepared. I need two shiny Applin, actually. Because I like hunting shiny dragons. Oh, man.
Alright. Chino. distract me and wish he hadn't. Alright, who do I go for? Oh yes, Curlia. Right. Oh yeah, I forgot it was Curlia versus Steenie. I just find this battle funny because look! Look at it! <laughs> Damn. Anyway, didn't waste time. So side beam do Oh yeah. It survived. Barely. Psybeam. Breeders are annoying. Still. Still one. And triple level up for Curlia, Lombre, and Vileplume! Alright, one more trainer. Oh, yeah, he didn't see me. So, yeah, Balam. And yes, he's a breeder. Uh, that building right there, that's the Pokemon Nursery. That's where you can take your Pokemon to, well, breed and have hatch eggs. There's actually two nurseries in the game. Um, that's the first one. I recommend... You can go with that one if you want, but I like the one in the wild area. Because, of course, there are more chances of encountering Pokemon you don't want to encounter at the time. But, still, you can still have fun there at the same time. Because, <sighs> as soon as I complete the Pokedex and Sword, I'm going to do uh, some shiny hunts. I mean, first I'm going to shiny hunt the Pokemon I want, which is, well, Dragon types. And then, shiny hunt for the YouTube channel. Of course, the shiny... Yeah, that, this is actually one thing that hurt my head, because since they took out a lot of Pokemon in this game, my I could not transfer my entire Shiny Dragon collection. And I've been racking my brain on what to do about that, and I finally made a decision. I really do not want to re-hunt all my Shiny Dragons. I really do not. I'll hunt the new ones, but I will not re-hunt the old ones. The old ones can just stay in sun. That's what they're gonna do. I, I mean, I do have a spare shiny Komoro, which I'll probably transfer into the game. But still. Because, truth be told, I just don't want to shiny hunt Zekrom, Reshiram, and Kyurem again. They were annoying. Oh yeah, I accidentally pushed the key battling button with Curlia, where I really wanted to switch Pokemon, so I just switched it during the battle. Switched it for Lombre! I still have not found the Water Stone. I should probably research where to find that. Hang on. Just gotta get up. Oh. Ah, funny how I go to my phone and I have a new notification. Ah! Not on point. Thank God. Anyway. I've been meaning to check, but let's see, where can I find Waterstone and Dawnstone? Let's see, Waterstone, that would help. Okay, that does not help. Alright, uh, I'll just go back there to see if there was anything. Nope, there was not. Go to the Pokemon Marine. If you want to leave your Pokemon, you talk to that girl there. Same thing at the wild area. But you can go. But this is the only way you can enter. 
I enter here, you talk to that girl, you can get a Toxo, which will evolve into a Toxtricity. Which is badass, people. Here's the thing, uh, I didn't, I mean, my first time when I saw this thing was like, IT'S ADORABLE! And when I saw its evolution, I was like, okay, that looks cool. Then I versed my friend in a Pokemon battle, he used Toxtricity, and it n wiped out my entire team. That one truck, Toxtricity, wiped out my entire team. From that point, I was just like, I need a Toxtricity. I need it. And I had two already, and a whole bunch of candies. So I just evolved my strongest one and got it. Right there and then. <laughs> Um, I think you can also trade Toxo for a to for a Togepi in the game. Oh yeah, Team Yo showed up. You, of course, you battle them. Of course, I don't care about Team Yo because they're not a Team Rocket. Oh, brilliant! Hang on a second. Sorry about that. S stupid phone. Get wrong color every time. It's so annoying. They always call it the wrong time. Anyway, as I was saying, Team Yo, not fun to battle. Well then, not a challenge, actually. Hmm. Okay, let's have a looky looky edible. There we go. Oh! Wait, where is it? Apparently a water stone is in Route 2. Where the heck is it in Route 2? Oh, I gotta, gotta get off again. Hang on. So many interruptions. Oh, hopefully no more. Okay. Uh, so I figured out where the water stone is. Uh, gonna be a while. I can get one in the bridge field, but it's gonna be a while. Alright, so where's Dawnstone? Where can I get this? Um... Okay. Basically, uh, Curly and Lombre will not be evolving until after the third gym. Oh yeah, now that is a Swiper Pokemon right there. That is Swiper. I forgot this thing was tough. Sonning voice. You're out of there. Wait, did I miss the double level up of Curly and Lombre? <laughs> so, one Team Yo guy down, another one to go, and I think he was just one Pokemon. And it was a Sableye. Well, at least I got rid of that big gem. Him with a Mega Evolution, I did not make get. Yeah. And that's Team Yo done. For good. Nah, nah, there's still more. But this guy is actually good. He brings back something that's been gone for a generation. The bike. The bike is back, people. 
<laughs> I miss the bike. Although I miss riding on a Tauros. A Tauros is more fun than a bike. What was I doing there? Oh yeah, yeah, I forgot. I was actually eating lunch while I was recording. I absolutely forgot. So, if you hear, like, like a ding or like, that's just like a knife and fork. Sorry. I can't believe I forgot I was eating lunch around that time. There's Hop. Don't tell me what you do! I'm gonna run towards you! Yeah, you have a rival battle with him. Still three on three. I don't know when he goes to four. <laughs> There's his little sheep! And here's my Thwacky! That'll thwack it! Thwack it, Thwacky! Ow! Yeah, I did heal Thwacky. Why'd you kick me, sheepy? Yeah. Alright, we'll lose down. Oh, yeah. So now Curly has turned to fight Corvusquad, the evolved form of Rookity. Apparently, my friend told me that Corvusquad could have been found in, uh, well, Root. Mm, three, I think. Was it Root 3? Probably. I couldn't find it, of course. But apparently, there was one there. I didn't see it. Oh, well. Now I teach it life to you. Oh yeah, I can't mess with the camera because I thought it was off recording a little bit. It is, if you can see, it's a, like crooked. Damn TV's distracting me. <laughs> anyway. The sub evolves to Drizzle, as you can see, and Lombre is about to fight it. Sorry, TV. <laughs> what I miss? Okay, I'm turning off the TV because it's distracting me. Anyway, you after you beat Hop, he gives you a revive and tells you who the gym leader is. Do we already knew that? It's a water to gym. I think I was healing Curly because he was like injured badly.
have that done, I'm going on the bike and continuing on towards Hobury, which was not that far, people. And on my way, look what I encounter. I ring the bell because I learned a new trick. <laughs> so, a wild Eldegoss. If you don't remember what Eldegoss is, go back to the last video. It's the gym leader's Pokemon. Eldegoss, the evolved form Glossifer, level 22. I was just like, I need to catch it. It was a tough bastard to catch people. I mean, damn! I tried everything. No matter what. The annoying part was it used Sing. Swaggy was put to sleep. Not in a bad way. I mean, like, he was actually asleep. And I did not have anything to awake him with. Damn! So, yeah. I just basically just kept pushing buttons until I could hurt it. Push, 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 button, button, push, push, push. Yeah, Swaggy finally woke up, but his attack missed. Mm -hmm. Try it again. This time it landed. I was worried it was going to sing Swaggy to sleep again. I did not want to do that. Imagine make it weak enough so I decide to use a great ball. And when you know it, it fails. I thought I might try and weaken it a little bit even more. No, 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 no. Yep, it hit me with the sing again. Twas annoying. But I don't think the sleep lasted long like the last one did. I woke up. Yeah. Alright, I didn't want to go through the whole sing and sleep again, so I just kept throwing Pokeballs until it was caught. My mind kept thinking, I'm going to waste all my Pokeballs trying to capture this one Pokemon. I didn't, thank God. I just... Wasted a few great balls. I think three in total. Nope, four. I wasted four before number five did its work. Guess what? I didn't switch it out. Stuff almost made it. <laughs> so, with that bugger done, continued on. And there was an item and a breeder. Alright, Denise, what do you have? A Cherubi. Alright. Cherubi is the most annoying Pokemon for me to get in Diamond, damn it. I had no idea how the honey thing worked. I really didn't. But thank god it's easy to get. Um, we we're trying to get a Cherubi, just go to a bit, one of the berry trees in the wild area, the one at Watchtower. That one has a... Oh, hang on.
Ah! Alright. Uh, that's got a message from my friend. He has a YouTube... He has a video that we were trying to put up YouTube a while back, but we never got a chance. Um, you know. All right. All right, he's going to give me the video that we recorded a while back. Defeated Denise. <coughs> the item was X special attacks. Uh, that one spot there, I kept thinking, yeah, there was an absorb bulb. I have no idea what it does. It's a stuff up. Me not care about stuff up. Me go. Alright, I think she was the last trainer before I went into Holbury. And yeah, she had a crow gunk, which was annoying. Because knockoff would have done squat on it, because it was a fighting type. And I didn't know what to use on it. Whew, <sighs> yeah, I'm tired. I do, but I do love Krogunk's cry. It's just it laughing. <laughs> I just keep smiling about it. Anyway. Yep, she was the last one before I entered Halberry. The next, the town with the second gym. And there it is. There she blows! I don't know why it's acting like, sound like a captain right there. So finally, here, go to the Pokemon Center. Do it! You heal up all my Pokemon. Swaggy, Curlia, Lombre, Vileplume, Nichino, Stuffle. Yep. Oh, that reminds me. I need to check when I can get the shiny stone, because that's how Nichino evolves. So, uh, I thought about getting the items, and I thought, nah, I don't need to do that yet. So, explore. There's the Chairman Rose and uh, Summer Gear. Yeah, and his mean assistant. Seriously, she is mean! Yeah, and there's Bed A. Blah, blah, blah. Hey. Okay, that's how you get a shiny stone. Definitely gonna be a while before I can evolve Minchino. Unless I go to the digging duo. Mm. Still. So he basically invites you for lunch after you beat the gym. So, and she tells, tells you to not keep him waiting. She's a bitch. His assistant's a real bitch. Alright. So, before I went to the gym, I thought I'd just show everyone the town a bit. Like, the, this area here is where you can get essence. Like, if you're trying to get a Mime Junior or a 
Munchlax, this is where you go. I, I'm i still shocked, because I was actually breeding, like, Pokemon for, to complete the Pokedex, Pokedex, and by random chance, I got a Shiny Mime Jr. That was just random. You might have seen it fully evolved in my Max Ray Battle video. It's a Mr. Rhyme. I did not hesitate evolving it. Because here's the thing, me and my friend want to know, would it be a Cantonian Mr. Mime or Galarian Mr. Mime? Our answer? Galarian. Cause only, and I'm glad, because only Galarian becomes Mr. Rhyme. Hmm. I finally got a full heal. About time! Where were you when I was fighting the fluffball? Alright, there's the train station. Not important. I think there are items inside the houses, but I'm not going to waste my time in each of those for you guys. Alright, when you go to the gym the first time, there's someone there saying that the gym leader is not even there. Not to work. I didn't do that in sword. I just went, looked around before I went to the gym. I didn't... But still, good to know. Oh, yeah. Down here, you can do fishing. Ah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Uh, if you want to fish, you cannot go down there with a bike. Because then the Pokemon will just run away. I only f there's like three fishing spots in that area. I only did I did all three, but only one time each. And they were all the same Pokemon. This one, Aracuda. And then look at what level it is. 24. My mind just went, oh my god, it's joining my team. It's gonna join my team. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I'm remembering stuff I was gonna do after this video. Like, figure out where the Waterstone is, Dawnstone, Shiny Stone, and figure out how this thing evolves. I did not check that. I am going to check that right now. Yeah, I switched that for stuff. I switched stuff out for it. Let's see, Aracuda, Aracuda, where are you? Move him up the ranks. Ah, there he is. Ah, level 26. That's when Aracuda will evolve. Alright, I thought it was a level up. Cool, 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 cool. Alright. Of course the third squad was, I think it was another Aracuda. Yeah, they were all Aracudas, like I said. And that item is Netball, so more Pokeball! Netballs can help you catch water and bug types, which is pretty damn good. Uh, what was that hidden item? Super potions. There's a statue. That is what toxicity looks like, people. It actually has two forms. The form I have is the blue one. I don't know the names. The form my friend has is the yellow one. So we can tell each other apart, which is good. So. There's Nissa, the gym leader. Gives you a lead card and then she goes to the gym. Now, if that done, I can now go face the gym. But before I did, did that, I go to the Pokemon Center because I just caught an Aracuda and it needs healing. Shut up and heal my Pokemon! Yeah. 
I did not go overboard this time, people. I did not. I just bought 26 super potions. That was it. Alright. So, get them in good order. Or some net balls, because, yeah. Anyway. So, got my team, got my potions, I'm ready for the gym. Riding, riding, riding on my Rotom bike! Of course, talk to Mr. Ballhead there. He'll give you a little ball, which will help you catch Pokemon you fish out of. Fish for. Hmm. Could have been useful when I caught Arakuda. Oh well. I kept doing that with my camera because I keep thinking it's wrong, and now I can see it. It's really crooked. I try to get it in good position. I really try, people. So, change my outfit. Ready for the gym. The water type challenge. And look at it, damn it! This is a puzzle right here. Puzzle I solved quickly, by the way. <sighs> Alright. So of course everyone has water type Pokemon. That is too bad for them. <laughs> Come on, people, I'm using a grass type. So of course I'm gonna win easily at this gym. See, one hit KO! Level up for Thwacky and Lombre. And Lombre learned Bubble Beam. Yeah, that's not going to be useful for this gym. Probably the next one. Right. Hmm. So, I move Lombre up the ranks, which is just putting it in front of Curlia. Alright. To keep moving, you gotta have to push those buttons. Which is annoying. It's the last one that's the most annoying one. I mean, I worked it out. I quickly and sword, and I forgot about it in this game. How the hell did that happen? Okay. Now, I think that one had two Pokemon, so... Yeah, she had two. First one was Krabby. Oh, I just remembered what happened to me yesterday. Um, you're not gonna believe what happened. Um, as you know, Max Ray Battles, they introduced new G Max Pokemon. Kingler has a form, and by sheer luck, I encountered it without doing the chain, like. People like change the date on their switches to try and get a GMAX Pokemon. Uh, I did not do that. The first, as soon as the pro, the first Pokemon Beam that came up in the Kingler raid at Kingler's Den, it was it. It was Kingler. The first purple Beam was Kingler. No joke. I laughed out. Wow, when that happened. All right. So Arakuda is finding a Corfish now. It's his. It's Cor. It's. Her first battle, yeah, it was her first battle, and it was against a Corefish. I mean, she's not doing that bad. And she just needs two more level ups, and she'll be a... I don't know how you pronounce it. Flakaguda? I don't know. Oh no, next. I think she would have evolved uh, next video, who knows. One more bite, and Corefish was done.
Yep, that was the annoying part. That last one involves the blue button, which is super annoying. Uh, I do have to first that girl. At first I push the red button, and here's the thing people, do not push the red button first. Alright, I worked that out when in sword, and I screwed up big time. In shield. I think Lin had two Pokemon too. Yeah, first one, Remoraid. Easy! Razor Leaf it. <sighs> so, Vileplume and Minchino both level up, and yeah. I. Curly is not the last Pokemon on my team right now. Oh, I feel bad for him. I really do not want to lose Curlia, people. I really don't. I thought it was the Everstone slowing him down. No, it wasn't. It was something else. I don't know what it was. I just prefer to try and make him a Gallade as soon as possible. Down goes Turtle! Down goes Turtle! <laughs> so, before I continue, move Fire Plume and Mancino up the ranks. Sorry, Carlia. And here's where I knew I screwed up. Because you have to push the red one last. Because, see? You need a way out! I thought maybe there's another button. No, there is not. There is not. My brain kept thinking, I solved this pretty quick in sword. Why is it taking me this long in shield? Anyway, so you always have to push the red one, like, last. This is the puzzle, people. Yellow button, then red button, then blue button. Now that the gym challenge, the gym mission was complete. So all that's left of, is to face Nissa in the gym. She's using a dive ball. What's in the dive ball? Oh, it's a Goldeen. So yeah, Thwacky just raises me at the Goldeen. Too easy! Oh, 
Uh, my brain just went Aracuda versus Aracuda right here. <laughs> Who's Aracuda's the best, people? Uh, funny thing in Sword, when we went to the final Pokemon, I was using Dreadnought. You can probably guess what happened there. So, my Aracuda was apparently stronger by the looks of it. I just kept biting hers. Oh yeah, I had to heal mine after that bite. And I have any more energy roots, so I just gave it super potion. Oh, my turn. Bite. And down goes her Aracuda. The last Pokemon is Dreadnought, so I just descend, decide to send Lombre. Oh my god, look at that stare. G Max? G Max? No. Alright. Uh, after this battle, the next time you face Nissa, her Dreadnought will be the G Max one. It, 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 when it looks like G Max, it's pretty damn awesome. I actually have a couple of G Max Dreadnoughts myself. <laughs> it's pretty damn easy to get. Time to Dynamax. The baddest ombre in the water. Lombre! <laughs> see Lombre Dynamax just looks funny. I can't wait to see it as a Lodicolo Dynamaxed. <laughs> Alright. Still, Lombre has the advantage. See? It did not waste time. One max overgrowth and it was injured. One more hit and I would have won. What am I, what am I saying? I did win! I won right here, people! See? <clears throat> oh my god, I forgot about that. Still, Lombre won. Don't mess with the Ombre, Lombre. No, that doesn't make sense. Level up for Lombre and Curlia. So yeah, Lombre is now second in command, Aracuda. You should be scared. Noise. And with that, the second gym battle is done. Alright, after this point, right, after you beat the gym, you do go to the restaurant, you talk to Rose, and, Son and Sonia is there. Alright, so before I went there, I did move Lombre up the ranks. Buy some Pokeballs. Mm. 
And I'm off! Wait, what was I doing here? Oh, yeah. So there's Rose's assistant, being a bitch that she is. So, of course you go to the restaurant to meet up with Rose. And there's Sonia. What are they talking about again? Oh yeah, Dynamaxing and the Darkest Day. So weird seeing him in that get up. I mean, it works, but still. I love that name, Hammerlock. Gives you the TM Retali, which is pretty damn awesome. What's today's date? Yep. Got a special video planned in a couple of days, just need to prepare. After that, Hop is actually waiting for you outside, saying that the next gym leader is actually in Gallimine number two, which I'm looking forward to because I can get a dragon. And that's just. And that's it about the story at this point, people. Because after that, I do go to Gallimine 2, but all I do from there is just, well, battle and capture Pokemon. That's it. I just continued that until my camera stopped recording. So anyway, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and see you in the next gym battle.